seven. So I guess uh, we should get started. Um, I guess well, we'll go through the, the regular thing. So uh, um, can I have a motion from the floor to open this meeting of the Otter Creek Audubon Society annual meeting? I'll make a motion to open up the Otter Creek Audubon annual meeting. Second. Uh, okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Um, so uh, first order of business is to give a report uh, for what Otter Creek Audubon Society has been doing in the past year. So um, since our last annual meeting in November of 2021, um, uh, as far as events go, uh, we have continued our monthly wildlife walks at Otterview Park in the herd grassland. Um, we are now uh, standing at a cumulative 1,039 attendees over 13 years. Wow. Um, tallying 121 bird species at Otterview Park and 126 bird species at the herd grassland. Um, uh, we participated and promoted the four Christmas bird counts that occur at least partially in Addison County, the Ferris Bird Count, Middlebury, Mount Abrams, and uh, Heidensburg. We held two salamander crossing events uh, in conjunction with the Salisbury Conservation Commission on Morgan Road. On August 31st, we had 57 volunteers come out and counted 919 amphibians. And on April 7th, we had 61 volunteers come and uh, counted 477 amphibians. Um, in June, we held a bird banding session in partnership with uh, Middlebury Area Land Trust and Audubon Vermont. Uh, Mark Labard came out to the herd grassland and uh, banded some birds, including a blue winged warbler. Um, in June, we held a beginning birders walk uh, in partnership with uh, Middlebury Area Land Trust at Wright Park. Uh, we had about 30 people come out for that one. Uh, in September, we held a hike to Silver Lake in partnership with the uh, Moose Lamu Association. We had seven people along for that walk. Um, and in October, uh, we helped put on Dead Creek uh, Wildlife Day with Vermont Fish and Wildlife at uh, Dead Creek Wildlife Management Area in Addison. Uh, about 350 people attended during the day for the many activities and presentations that happened. Um, we'd like to give a special thanks to Mike Winslow for volunteering to be the coordinator between OCAS and Vermont uh, Fish and Wildlife for us. And uh, also thank any other volunteers who helped out in that event. Um, uh, our education programs this year, um, our environmental uh, education grants program, we awarded uh, $4,742 to eight schools and educational organizations for classroom programs, projects, or field trips. Uh, we gave $800 to the Bridge School for the creation of a snowshoe trail and related materials. Um, we gave $627 uh, to Bristol Elementary School first grade uh, to cover the cost for a trip to Audubon, Vermont and the Birds of Vermont Museum. Uh, we gave 800 to Bristol Elementary School third grade to cover the cost for a trip to Audubon, Vermont and the Birds of Vermont Museum. Um, Mary Hogan Preschool, uh, we gave $315 for the creation of adventure bags for twice weekly walks. Uh, Otter Creek Child Care Center, we gave $600 for a certified uh, nature explore outdoor classroom. Uh, Quarry Hill School, we gave $550 uh, uh, for materials for an expanded uh, naturalist cur curriculum. Shoreham Elementary, $250 for subscriptions to nature magazines. And uh, the Willowell Foundation, $800 for two tracking days for interested Virgins High School students. Um, in other education news, we acquired three digital microscopes um, for uh, use in classroom programs uh, with money we got from a National Audubon Collaborative Grant. Um, we also awarded two scholarships um, for people uh, for uh, people to go to the Hog Island Audubon uh, camp last summer. Jen Grilly and Addison Tate. They both went. You can uh, read Jen Grilly's report in the September issue of Otter Tracks if you're interested. Um, 
Uh, we also uh, gave in-person, virtual, or material support for classrooms at Weybridge Elementary, Virgen's Elementary, Shoreham Elementary, Salisbury Community School, and a group of homeschool kids. Um, and in October, we assisted Vermont Fish and Wildlife in bird banding days at Dead Creek Wildlife Management Area, uh, allowing classes to view bird banding and participate in other bird-related educational sessions. Uh, we had students from Cornwall School, we had the Bridge School, Whitehall, New York, Salisbury, Green Mountain Community School, Orwell, in Fairhaven, and a total of 154 students uh, participated in, the, in that uh, program. Um, uh, and also, we'd like to give a special thanks to uh, Craig Zondag and Deb Laramie for being uh, at-large OCS members volunteering their time to the Education com Committee. Um, in conservation news, um, we continue our ownership of the herd grassland. Of course, it's our third year of, of owning the property. Uh, just to give you a little report on what's going on there, we had nesting bobolinks uh, and we had Eastern meadowlarks using the field for feeding. Um, and over in the shrubland section, of the, we had um, field sparrows nesting and uh, brown thrashers, Eastern towhees, blue wing warblers were all present uh, on the property. We also had a visit um, briefly from a clay colored sparrow, another type of bird that uses that kind of uh, shrubland habitat, though it's probably not going to be uh, one we'll see nesting. It was slightly off course bird. <laughs> um, uh, also in May, we visited the property at Morgan Road in Salisbury where we hold the conservation easement and uh, uh, the hibernating area for uh, frogs and salamanders and we can report everything there is in order. Um, for uh, you know, general communication news, um, we've uh, published uh, four issues of our Otter Tracks newsletter, and uh, we continue to promote events uh, via our email uh, list, which goes out to 495 subscribers. And we continue to post um, information from uh, all our uh, for most of our events on our websites and our social media platforms at uh, Facebook and Twitter. Um, so that's a little overview of what we've been doing the past year. Um, now we move on to the big piece of business for the night, and that is the board election. Um, membership chair, uh, Marsha Parker, has given me a slate of board members uh, to elect. Um, continuing on this year, we, are, we have uh, myself, Ron Payne, as president. Gary Starr as Vice President, Kathy Starr as Treasurer, Warren King as Secretary, Alan Coulter as a regular board member, Melissa Green, David Hoff, Barb Utska, Marsha Parker, Carol Ramsayer, and new this year, um, Roland Mac Gallagher. Um, so uh, that is the slate presented to me by the um, the committee, um, can I have a motion to approve this slate? So moved. Second. All right, thank you. Any discussion? All right, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? All right, the motion passed. Um, so that concludes our business uh, for tonight. Um, I can take any questions anyone has. <laughs> what happened to the crickets, Ron? <laughs> um, they're, they're, they're sitting under the iPad I'm borrowing. Oh, okay. <laughs> A question for you, Ron. Sure. Uh, you say the monthly email events uh, email goes out to 495 people? That is correct. And so uh, we probably, if, if they give us stats on that, uh, we get like about 20%, no, it's higher, it's 40% of people open those emails and then clicks are about down to like 10% or something like that. But that's pretty impressive. They, they say in our stats that we're above average for um, 
nonprofits doing that. Really? Oh. Yeah. That's good. So now do we need a motion uh, to adjourn? Yeah. I, I, I'm yeah, still on the email. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> Uh, hold on one sec. On the email events list of people, is there um, is there any way to recruit them to become members of Otter Creek Audubon that makes sense, or does it better to keep it um, completely? We're so glad that you're in touch with us, and there's no pressure. I could add language to the emails that say if you if you'd like to be a member, join X Y Z. That wouldn't be a hard thing to do. Oh, I want to say I really enjoy the picture of the month that you've added this year. I like. Yeah, that was a good. That was that was Gary's idea, and it, oh. it's been really well. So good idea, yeah. Gary. Thank you. Ne never gotten email responses before um, until we did picture of the month, and then every once in a while, someone tells me how great the picture is. So really, that's great. awesome. Yeah, that's great. Any other questions? I guess we are uh, looking for a motion from the floor to adjourn then. I'm, I so move. Mac has a question. Mac, Mac has a question. Can you oh, hear me? Mac has a question. Go ahead, Mac. Yep. Yes. Uh, I thank you for uh, asking me to join the board. I'm delighted. Uh, this will be a lot of fun for me. I hope you can hear me because my audio is pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. But what I'd like to do is ask if you have any um, a compendium of past minutes or so I can become familiar with all your activities, which sound extensive and very exciting. Um, and I'll probably want to grab Ron at least or some other people for lunch or something so I can ask questions and find out more about uh, what you've been doing, because I'm sort of familiar with the, the Saturday morning walks and I've made a couple of dinners over the years. Um, but anyway, I'm just wondering if you could give me a folder of things online sure. or something. Sure okay. thing. We've, we've got a whole, uh, we've got a Dropbox folder that's um, got pretty much all the minutes going back uh, farther than you'd ever want to read. So. <laughs> <laughs> now, aren't our, aren't our records uh, recorded or stored in the Shelburne Museum? Sheldon. Sheldon Museum. Uh, oh. Yes, uh, that's that that's true. Uh, until about uh, half a dozen years ago, uh -huh. when I brought the last bunch of uh, minutes, uh, et cetera, in, and I'm, uh, I I have a, 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 a file folder that is bulging at the seams with another set of six or eight years worth. Oh, and good. I will, I will by and by. Uh, take that in also. But, uh, so it's been it's been a number of years since I brought it in uh, there. And, uh, I, I I doubt that anybody's going to have requested it, but um, mm -hmm. it's it's there it's there for the asking. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll follow up with you, Ron. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, Mac, uh, when we had our education talk just recently, and uh, Carol can confirm this or not, we we're wondering if you would, might be interested in sitting in to review the uh, 12 or 13 applications that we have for grants this year. Is, would you like sure. to? Sure, be happy okay. to. Great. So I'm that about, uh, tomorrow I'm about to send out the applications via email. So I'll put you on the list, Mac. Good. Yep, we have uh, fourteen to send out. Um, well, not applications, but oh, uh, no, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, our application. There, yeah, app I mean applications for grants. Yeah. yeah, I guess I should say proposals. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So, did we have a motion on the floor there? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Sorry, I was late. So moved. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> all right. So, um, all in favor of uh, closing the meeting? Aye. 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 Aye.
Bye. All right. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> we'll see you all next go round. I think it's December 1st. Thank you. Thanks, right. everybody. Thank you. Nice